day one, we arrived at the trailhead. A cool sunny October morning, day one provided perfect backpacking weather. We backpacked 3.1 miles across low-lying boardwalks, up a few small sandy hills, through a forested area and across the Beaver Creek Bridge to the Beaver Creek Campground. At Beaver Creek, the campsites perch on a bluff overlooking a sandy beach and Beaver Creek. After setting up camp, we ate a late lunch and headed down to the beach to play. We made cairns, tossed rocks into the water, walked around, and people watched. Once we got our fill of sun, we went back to camp to relax and cook dinner. After dinner, we headed back down to the beach to try and catch a sunset, but the sky had clouded over. Hi. By now, things were cool and windy, and we enjoyed being the only people on the beach. Sometime during the night, the rain began to fall. On day two, it rained all day. My family slept in, waiting for the rain to stop. Eventually we came to the conclusion it would be best to move on as Beaver Creek was booked full for the evening and the next campers would be coming along. We hiked six miles in the rain, slipping and sliding on mucky wet trails. After dinner the rain seemed to be done. We went to the beach to play and check out the sky. Much to our delight, after a time the sun peeked out and we were rewarded with an unexpected sunset. Where are you going? a good time. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the sun. We missed that guy all day when it was raining. Yeah. Ams, do you know what this creek is called? Seven Mile Creek? That's right, Seven Mile Creek. Do you know what this lake is called? Do you know what this park is called? Uh, Big Kid Rock. And what campground are you sleeping in tonight? On day three, we woke to clear skies and wind. 
Dawn on the beach offered glorious views of Lake Superior. After breakfast, we packed up and began our 9.1 mile hike back to the trailhead. The day started out cool and sunny, perfect for backpacking. The first three and a half miles of the day's hike carried us through a shady forested area past an abandoned antique car. From there, the terrain became sandier and followed Lake Superior more closely. Things were quiet from Seven Mile Creek to the Trapper Lake and Pine Bluff backcountry campgrounds. When we got back to Beaver Creek, we began to run into a number of other backpackers and day hikers. Look at what I found in the woods. Look at what I found in the woods. Soon enough, we drove off to the Bear Trap Inn for sandwiches and fries. Then we began the long drive home. That's all for now. Let's get outdoors and keep our wild places wild. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe.